these instance attributes and instance methods needs to be called from an object so what we do is we define them in a class and then we instantiate it instantiate it so instantiate in the sense we make a copy of it make a copy of it and uh, we create an object here right so here uh, and then from the object we are going to call it okay so to be precise let's say i have created a class as c1 now in the program we are creating a uh, create object obj right so then we are calling this uh, uh, attributes or methods from the object not directly with the class name you can't call this directly from the class name but whereas static attributes and static methods can be called directly from the class means how do we call that is call method call method say m1 is a method then then we have c1 m1 c1 m1 so here in this in this in this uh, instance attributes we'll call it like this call method obj m1 obj m1 so instance attributes we'll call it like this and the static or static attributes or static methods we're going to call it like this so there is a kind of a double line here if you observe here we have a single line okay so if you have a single line it means that you're calling a instance attribute but if it's a double line you are calling a static attribute static method or static attribute let's see that let's uh, apply that in a program and see this we'll define uh, static attributes and uh, static uh, methods and we'll call them into the program Okay, so here we'll go ahead with class C1 definition in class. Then this will go for public section. We'll go for public section. We have this as something like data A of n. public section a of 10 type c now we have class hyphen data b of 10 type c and then we have so these are this is a normal instance attribute and this happens to be a static attribute now let's go for methods M1 class methods M2. Now M2 happens to be a class method which happens to be a static attribute, static method, and uh, you know M1 happens to be a normal method. So once we understand the, how how the method and class method, I mean like how the method and the static method are working. After this, we'll we'll understand uh, the concept behind it, the reason why we are defining class methods means uh, the reason we are defining the static methods so this is a static attribute
static method. This is an instance attribute and instance method. Instance attributes are default default attributes. So you don't have to mention anything specifically. Instance attributes. All default one will be instance. We, we are defining the instance attribute, static attribute, instance method and static method. instance method and static method now here we will go ahead with class c1 implementation and class now method so we need to have an implementation for m1 and m2 so method m1 n method and then we have method into So here we'll write method m2 and method. Now the way we call it and the way we store the data will be slightly different here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to try say write. Method m1 instance method. Okay, and after this, we can write some something like write. Uh, we can say a is equals to a is equals to India. So a is equals to India, and say write a. Then we'll go for write. M2 static method now B is equals to Bharat write B okay so we have this now only when you call this it will update the B value as uh, uh, Bharat. Otherwise, if you are calling it directly, then I'll give, I'll give some default value here for this A. I think I have to re-log in. No, it's not getting copied also. I think I have to retype everything. I didn't save anything so okay so we'll go ahead with the class c1 definition in class this we have uh, say public section so section is important data p of 10 Uh, class and then we'll go ahead with the data this is the pro program start so obj type ref2 c1 and then we have startup selection create object obj Create object OBJ. Then we have 
call method opj m1 this is a this this call method obj m1 happens to be as instance method which is a normal one but how are we going to call the static method is uh, we are going to call directly with the name of the class c1 m2 now if you call m1 like this it throws an error it will throw an error So I am instance method, Bharat, I am static method, my country. So now here we have static method, let's flash. So I am instance method, Bharat, I am static method, my country. So these are the things that we have here. Okay, so I am instance method, I am static method. Just coming up. Fine. So this is how we are going to call it. And for your information, we can also call this static method instantially. Means we can we can call it like this also. Call method obj m2. Okay, it works. Okay, so again it has been executed, but you cannot call, you cannot call, you cannot call method C1 M1. You cannot call like this because M1 is not registered as static, so it doesn't work like this. See syntax. So uh, syntax. So when I say syntax, it says call method with static method. So this is something which will not work. That's what the system is saying. So if I comment this, it works. So there will be many instances where uh, we might call a static method directly from a class. So we don't have to define the class here. We don't have to define the class here. Uh, directly we can go for uh, this one. So just let me tell you that. Say something like I'm defining here. Okay, so I'll just define something like data uh, a of 10 type C a is equals to India. Okay, a is equals to India, and then we have uh, we can go ahead with instead of writing write, we can just directly call something like. Call 
or so directly we will call it right so cl underscore demo underscore output display data display underscore data a display data a save syntax check activate execute so you get this output in this box okay this is so in this in this what we are doing is we are writing this uh, cl underscore demo output display data now here whatever variable that we are passing here into that variable we can uh, this variable can be printed this variable can be printed or you can also type you can also pass an internal table and get the data from it that is also possible okay so this happens to be a standard class and standard method so we are not defining the class we are not defining the object nothing in single line we are calling it and we are getting, executing this data okay this kind of a uh, lot of options uh, are possible in uh, standard uh, standard classes and standard methods static method. if it's an instance method we need we had to create an object here and then we need we had to take the reference of that object and then call it but we are calling it directly here I hope you got the difference now.